Kay walked through his front door. What time is it, Kay? said his dad. Beating time, responded Kay. That's right, and it'll be extra hard. How dare you try to escape your warthog? Mistakes never win. After saying that, kapow! Dad threw some punches at Kay. Then he kicked him. He did not even hurl an insult. He let his dad beat him up until he had a few bruises on his arms and legs and a black eye. Maybe it is my fault. The thought slipped in his mind and darkness was sucked inside him. Kay and Lily were chatting online. Kay mentioned more about his life, like how he only ate a little bit of school food and nothing else, and how he never sleeps. Lily just listened and occasionally pitched into the conversation, having researched depression out of interest before. She responded with, I understand. You live in fear of your dad and you don't feel like eating because you've been traumatized by your mom's death. There's still hope for you, though. I will never give up. She believed anything can get better if you do something about it. Kay climbed up the rickety ladder and poked his head through the trap door. He climbed up into the attic and started looking around. Kay searched until he found a bread book and blew off the dust. On the front, the golden letters formed the title, Family Memories, which was printed red neatly in cursive. Flipping the pages, he came to one of a beautiful woman. Her eyes were a mirror of his, and her wonderful long hair was pulled back in a ponytail. I wish you were still here, Mom. I miss you, said Kay, tears in his eyes. He continued flipping the pages until he saw one of his mom, standing in the once beautiful garden with Dad beside her. There was a baby in her arms and a little boy standing in front, a smile on his face. Kay could not recognize himself. In the picture, he was happy and had a cheerful expression on his face. But now, that expression has turned into that of sadness, hopelessness, guilt, and pain. And it'll stay that way unless something is done. Something that can only be done if Kay overcomes his great fear.